and Robert. And this is our English presentation of the face. First, there was Flopper, the spinner, who spun the web of life. The second fate, Lachesis, measured the thread of life with her measuring rod. The thread of life is spun on Clotho's spindle, measured by the rod of Lachesis, and snipped by the spears of Atropus. And third, Atropus, the inevitable, cuts the thread of life when it's time for you to die. Atropus was smallest in stature, but the most terrible in fear because of her power. All three fates were ugly old hags and clothed in white robes. They were real sisters and soul sisters. Hey sisters, soul sisters, better get that dough sisters. We drink wine with diamonds in the glass by the case, the meaning of expensive taste. You wanna inch it, inch it, yeah, yeah. Come on, mocha, chocolate. What? Rio, lady, mama. One more time, come on. The supposed parents of the face are Zeus, the ruler of Mount Olympus, and Themis, the goddess of law and justice. Even Zeus was obedient to the fates. When the fates wanted something, they had their way. In the home of the fates, they keep the records of all that happens in the world. They are eternal and secure. This is King Amidas, and this is his wife. The wife of Amidas died, and in attempts to bring her back from the underworld, he got the face drunk to try and get her back. When they said no, he offered to trade his soul for her soul. When Apollo, the god of the sun, learned of Amidas' sacrifice, he begged the face to bring Amidas back. In the end, Hercules saved Amidas' soul and reunited him with his wife. Myth number one. During the Olympian and Giant War, the face armed himself with clubs and killed a couple of giants. Myth number two. Zeus, the ruler of Mount Olympus, was challenged by Typhon. The fates weakened him with fruit that they told him could strengthen him. And Zeus won. Thank you for watching our presentation. We hope you enjoyed it, because we sure did. <laughs> uh -huh.